Little Rocket's special star. Little Rocket and her dad, Big Joe, loved looking up at the stars. Tomorrow was Big Joe's birthday and Little Rocket wanted to give him something very special. I know, she thought, I'll give him a shiny star all his own. Very early the next morning while Big Joe was resting on his launch pad, Little Rocket set off, whoosh, into space. Up, up, up she flew until she could see something small and glittering high above. I've found one already, cried Little Rocket. There's my star for Big Joe. But when she got nearer, she found it wasn't a star at all. It was a satellite Sid circling the earth. What are you doing out here, Little Rocket? He asked. I'm looking for a star for Big Joe, said Little Rocket. You can't take a star from the sky, said Satellite Sid. It would be too hot to carry. But Little Rocket was so determined to find a star for Big Joe that she didn't believe him. You're wrong, she said. And whiz, off she flew again. Higher and higher and higher. Suddenly, Little Rocket saw something winking in the darkness. A star, she cried, flying quickly towards it. But when she got nearer, she saw it was only the flames from Sammy Shuttle's engines. Hello, Little Rocket, said Sammy. What a surprise. I thought you were a star, said Little Rocket. I want one for Big Joe. You can't take a star, said Sammy. They might look small from far away, but stars are very, very big. You won't be able to carry it. Little Rocket thought Sammy must be mistaken. Yes, I would, she said confidently. Besides, I only want one little star. And off she zoomed again, on her way. She hadn't gone far before she spotted a tiny flickering light. A little star, she cried. But as she flew closer to it, she found it was only Andy the astronaut's flashlight. He was shining it on the space station as he made repairs. You nearly knocked me over, said Andy. Where are you going in such a hurry? I'm looking for a star for Big Joe's birthday. The stars are much too far away. It would take years to reach them, said Andy, laughing. Look at astronaut Andy with his flashlight. I'll reach them, boasted Little Rocket, flying to the moon. Doesn't take so long. The stars can't be much further. And with a wish, Little Rocket flew faster and faster towards the moon. On its surface, she could see something glimmering. Is it a star, she wondered, feeling a little uncertain as she got nearer. She saw it wasn't a star. It was another little spaceship stuck in a crater. Hang on, she called, landing beside him. I'll get you out. Little Rocket tugged and pushed and shoved, shoved and pulled until pop. The little spaceship slid free. Oh, my wing is bent, he wailed. I don't know if I can fly. Little Rocket wanted to continue looking for a star for Big Joe, but she knew she couldn't leave this broken spaceship alone. Don't worry, I'll tow you home, she said. Look, look at the strings she's tied to the little rocket. She's going to tow him home. It was hard work pulling the little spaceship and Little Rocket was worried about not having a present for Big Joe. But she did enjoy the amazing look she got as they flew past Andy the astronaut and Sammy Shuttle and Satellite Sid. Look how happy they are. At last they landed with a bump beside Big Joe. Where have you been? he asked. And what's happened to that poor little spaceship? Little Rocket told him about the special star 
and about how she had rescued the broken spaceship instead. Good job, little rocket, said Big Joe. It's better to help someone than to bring me a present. Besides, the stars belong in space, where everyone can enjoy them. I already have a star, you know, he added. You do? Yes, I do, said Big Joe. Little Rocket, you are my very special star. Isn't that cute? Little Rocket is Big Joe's special star.